guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I've just got myself ready because let us tell you, I did not look like this for the majority of the day. I have just got ready though because tonight's quite an exciting night. Um, I'm actually going to meet my brother's girlfriend for the first time and I can't believe I'm even saying that. Like I can't believe my brother, because he's younger than us, and is at an age where he's got a girlfriend. And to be honest, he's been with her quite a while. He's been with her like, I think it's three four month I want to say it could be less than that I think it's since the beginning of the year so we're going into the fourth month I think but like to be honest my brother is 19 he's turning 20 this year so it's like he's not young but it's just like how how is he that age like I remember when we were younger like me and him would like literally go e so when like I'm 20 you'll be 27 and that's like the reality this year I'm gonna be 27 and he's gonna be 20 and it's like freaking hell where do them years go where do the years go um but yeah so i have met his girlfriend very very briefly but we're going out tonight we're just going to go to nando's grab some food together um so it'll be nice to actually officially say hello and meet her but yeah so that's happening tonight just go f just oh, i've got an itchy fucking scalp it's killing i've just gone for this little green top and my black leggings and then i've just put some makeup on just to feel a little bit more put together but yeah it is a Monday it is the start of a new week I hope you're all having a fabulous one I've got quite a quiet one this week to be fair so I'm going to focus on getting lots of admin done and getting lots of work that I don't usually have time to do done this week I have a few things I need to sort out um, pension wise and stuff so I need to get all of that sorted this week and it just needs to be quite an admin based week because I think at the end of April I'm going to be going away which I'm very excited for and then there's a few other things in April which I'm going to need to be away from the house from so yeah my time is going to be taken up quite a bit but I'm just going to use this week to kind of reset get everything that I need to get done finally done anyway guys I've been wanting to talk about this for quite a while but it's something that I've just like put off because I think it's a quite a hard topic to broach and I've never known how to approach it broach approach but I feel like I'm in my flop era, which if you haven't heard of this, I've seen it on TikTok and I was like, I kind of feel like that's me. And it basically means where you're at a time in your life where things aren't growing, you may be stuck in the same place. You don't know where you want to be or what you want to be or who you want to be. And you don't see like the progression. And I feel like this is kind of me. Like it's in all aspects of my life though. Like I... I'm really motivated with the gym and my health eating. Well, I have been. I've, I'm on a little bit of a rut at the minute, but I have been with that. But I feel like the flop era for me is definitely coming from where I want to be in the future and what I want my life to look like in the future. Because sitting here now, I currently do not have a clue what I want. I have so many different visions of what I want and then I just keep thinking well it's pointless planning because then Covid could come along or something like Covid could come along and destroy all the plans you thought you had for yourself which is definitely what happened to me in a way it didn't destroy my plans but it definitely made my life take a different route and a different turn to what I had expected it to for example it was the time when me and Sean were going to really focus on traveling and although I'm so grateful for every bit of traveling we've got to do we didn't get to do the traveling we thought we were going to do because Covid hit so we decided to buy a house and to this day I'm so grateful we bought the house because the market has just skyrocketed and we wouldn't be able to have got this house if we didn't get it when we get it so I don't regret buying the house at all I don't regret getting the dogs like I know that's the first thing people are going to say this is our admitting to regretting the dogs and the house it's not at all but it my life just took a completely different turn to what I thought it was going to and I feel like I'm in an era and where I really don't know what I want from my life I don't know if I want to sacrifice the next few years obviously still keep my house and everything but I have money aside in which I put aside for a potential business but then I'm like do I want to travel do I want to get a camper van um, and travel like you know the UK more Scotland more with Sean and the dogs or do we want to um, travel the world more and my mom would help look after the dogs and stuff that's been a discussion and it's like so many different things crossing my head crossing my mind it's like I don't know where I want to be like I just I feel confused and I feel like when you get to this age when you get to like 26 27 28 
are you meant to have your life prepared? Are you meant to know exactly where you want to be and who you want to be and what you want to do? Because I really don't. But I feel like there's so many people around us that do. Like a lot of my friends are deciding that the next few years is their few years to get married and have children. And we're looking at wedding venues and we're looking at the cost of wedding venues and we're really considering like, are we now ready to book a wedding, get that cost paid? Or is that what we want at the minute? Because the cost of weddings is just going up and up and up. Like we're, we're looking at wedding venues now and what the wedding venue prices are now, the venues are coming back saying, yeah, but when you get married in two years time, it'll have gone up another two grand and it's already like 20 odd, 30 odd grand. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, do I want to use a big chunk of my savings on a wedding? Do I want to use that money to travel? How much does a wedding mean to us? Like we're already, we've got a house, like, I feel like we're just in a bit of a situation at the minute where we're not really sure what we want and where we want to go with our life. And I think that's completely fine. Like, I know there'll be so many people my age, younger, older, in the same situation. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. But I feel like it's just my floppy era of like, I'm not, I'm not aiming towards anything. I don't know where I want to be. I'm kind of just getting through every day as a day and I'm like okay I've got amazing opportunities and I'm taking them as they come and I'm like so grateful for my life so grateful for where things are going but then I'm like where do I actually want life to go what are my plans what are my future prospects and I just don't know like I do not know and I feel like I'm just in a bit of a flop moment I don't know where I am I don't know who I am but I'm here I'm existing I'm living and I'm just taking every day as it comes, I'm taking every opportunity as it comes, and I'm just like, ah! And I think as well, it's so funny to me because I've always been the type of person to save money. Like, I have savings in a savings account that I'm just like, I've got. And I don't particularly know why I've got them. Like, I've had all these ideas over the years. I've had these business ideas. Did I want to start a business and be this boss babe? I'm not really sure. Like, I do, but it has to be the right business. And is this what I want my savings to be for? I'm not sure. Do I want to just take that money and travel? Because traveling is a huge passion of mine. And do I want to take that money and take Sean? And me and him just travel. We, we do what we want. We travel you know, in England, in Europe, outside of Europe, do we buy a camper van with that money? Do we, oh, there's just so many questions and decisions. Or do I keep that money, keep saving until another point in my life and work hard these next few years? I just feel it's such a, like a wall, like I've hit a brick wall and I really don't know which direction I want to take with my actual life. Like I feel like when it comes to like my fitness and health, yeah, like I want to do that. I'm doing okay with that and that's on track but then it's like my actual life which direction do I want that to go where do I want it to go anyway we got really deep on a Monday I don't know what what made us get so deep okay I'm sorry Whew. we're in a new month it's April I'm having the thoughts I feel like I love a new month because it's like a new start it's a bit like a new year it's not as full-on as a new year but I do like a new month I like that feeling but I also start to overthink things in a month and I'm like, oh my God, I want to do this. I want to do that. Like what's happening? Like I don't, uh, uh, uh. I'm very fortunate for my life. I'm very grateful for my life. I think I'm just having a, where do I want to be? Who do I want to be moment? That's definitely what I'm having. And another note though, look at the gorgeous faces I get to look at this month. This is my calendar from Manor Estate Farm. This is April, 2023. They send us their calendar every year and I just think it is the cutest thing ever because all the faces every month are absolutely adorable. And I'm just like, you're so cute. You are so damn cute. Right guys, I'm off to watch and support Newcastle and the football. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm actually just going for pints. I fancied a few drinks, so Sean was going out to watch a football, my dad's going, Sean's friends Ryan's going, and there might be a few of us we know there, but I thought I'm going to go, I fancy some pints, so I'll act enthusiastic about the football and drink me pints. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I've just had an admin base day of the day, got some stuff done, not as much as I would have liked, 
I'm, I'm just not motivated this week, but it's fine. I need to get stuff done, which I will. Oh, and he's like, I am off to bed. <laughs> You're not going to bed, Henry. You're not going to bed, son. You're not. Oh, how are you? Oh, you so cute. Just put that dinner out. I'm going to be reading the outlook of short enthusiasm. He is like, Newcastle need to win. We actually won the one you went to watch last week, didn't we? Yeah. So, is this a Premier League like? Yeah. I know, fuck all. Who are we playing? West Ham. West Ham. Have we got chances of winning? Should be them, but... We should. Just... Look at the draw. Sean doesn't like to speak too soon, Casey jinxes mm. things. Yeah. I'm in the pub with my dad. He's got his very famous um, Newcastle top on. But I'm also with someone else. I am with the original African. One, one, you are, yeah. Be story, after all these years, we've known of each other, haven't we? Like, we're shows online and Instagram. And my dad starts dating his auntie. So, small world. But he's come out with Wiz, so this is Alberto. If you don't know, I'll have his link below. Oh, I don't want to say it. Are you in Sinclair? <laughs> Sean is sitting there, but he's currently not there. In my dad. <laughs> Good Friday and to be brutally honest for about two weeks I felt like absolute shit and I haven't been to the gym in that time and I know like I'm only recent to the gym but I know how much it does affect my mental health Um there's no reason that I've not been to be fair we got back from Bainland and work's been busy and I've just fell out of the routine with it I've had a lot more takeaways I've just I've just completely fell off track. I feel like if this is a journey I'm gonna share online, you have to share the ups and the downs, you can't just share the ups. And I'm gonna write down with it at the minute. Um I just have have hit a brick wall. I've just hit a brick wall and it's hard to come out of. Every everyone or most people who struggle with the gym and the diets and all that type of thing, not diets, but eating healthy or moderately, you do hit brick walls it's harder sometimes than it is others and I'm definitely going through a stage where I'm really struggling with it I'm not as motivated I don't I'm not craving the gym like I was at the beginning but I was speaking to my PT Kate McRae and I told her how I was feeling she just check-ins every Monday and I just basically told her the truth I said look I'm, I'm really really struggling like I've just hit a brick wall and I, I don't know how to get myself out of it and Kate said something that made us come upstairs put me gym stuff on at half eight on good friday and I fully intend to go and have a session I'm just thinking is my gym open it's 24 hours so I'm presuming it is watch us get there and it not be open be a problem I will check that but I think it should be open but yeah Kate sent us a voice note back and she was so lovely and like you know understanding of these situations and basically said look it's hard when you get out of a routine and the first thing on getting back into a routine is just getting yourself in the gym and just do a walk on the treadmill and from once you do the one thing another thing you'll want to do and you'll get more motivated and it's so true because one of my favorite quotes in the entire world and I live by it I think it's so true is motivation comes from doing so when I'm feeling demotivated with my house cleaning my work or whatever if you just start that first simple task it makes such a huge difference and I've really been struggling to start that first simple task so when I got Kate's voice note um which I've only actually just read to be fair I was like that's so true I just need to get off my bum and go to the gym prioritize it make time for me because I know how much it affects my mental know how much it affects us in every aspect of my life my mental health my physical health my well-being and I need to prioritize it because it affects every other part of my life if I let it drop like for example like if I don't go if I don't get myself motivated it then starts to affect my work and my relationships and my friendships because I feel so crap I've got no motivation so 
it's important that I just get up and go. I'm gonna check my gym is open though, because that could uh, put a right spanner in the way. Even if it is shut, I got the gym clothes on and I attempted to go. I did end up going to the gym, it was open, it's normal um, 24 hours on the weekend which I was surprised at for the bank holiday because I did double check because I thought oh, I'll bet you it's closed but they've not closed it. It's 24-7. Right, but as it does, it might be 24-7 but it's not. Ah, it's feet <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we did go and do a little session, what were we in there, like 40 minutes? Mm. I, don't know, I, clue, I don't know what time we left to be fair. Good, um, that was about half an hour but more than half an hour. I think it was a bit more than half an hour, but anyway, it's better than not going at all. And I actually feel good off it. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, I feel like it just, for me, I was just saying to Sean there, like for my mental health and just like how I feel about myself. It's such a little thing, but even just a half an hour session just changes my mood. Like I really need to go to the gym. Like I've discovered that about me, <laughs> not just for, for anything other than my mental health. Like I just and I walked in there, nearly started crying because guess what went in my bag? My headphones <laughs> looked like you totally forgot. I told you that you literally know. looked so dramatic. It got yours. Right. Sean very kindly let us borrow his for half an hour. The session. Did you feel sorry for him? No. Yeah, you did. did you? Did you not? Got off the treadmill and then um. No. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't no, fall off the treadmill. No, I, that like, no. I think we're both like since we got ba back from Bainland, we've just hit a bit of a rut. Well, no. Sean like was slowly getting into it because we went to the gym on his birthday, um, and then since oh. Bainland, like we're actually doing all right in Bainland food mm -hmm. and like doing Walking. big, big extra mm -hmm. walks and everything, and making sure like we were getting our step count and that in. But then I feel like the week we got back, it just. There was a lot on though, like we've had, like I feel like we've been, well you've been going out for the match, I came out for one of the matches, then I feel like we have just been going to the local and that a bit more, haven't we? Just being busy, but like, and ah, it's not actually just, but it is. So but it is, like, I always said with this journey, I never wanted it to stop us doing things that I want to do. Like I've got my cousin coming up um, from Southport next week, we're going out for a meal on Sunday with my family because I've got no. some up from Southport. It's Easter, um, so we've had an egg today, like little things like that do just like happen and that's life and that's fine like but it but it's just trying to kind of moderately get back on track and not lose control altogether really isn't it no. but i feel good after that mm. i feel like now i've been it's fine i'll go back i feel like it's just that first no, it's breaking the ceiling up yeah going back if not going for so long and then when you go back like because i enjoyed it there i was like oh i'll go again now hopefully no. um 
but yeah it's just that and guys i got in my car obviously i think the last i updated you might have been in the last vlog about my windscreen it's cracked more so half ads did not fix the car i think they've made it worse to be honest haven't they yeah. so i'm gonna have to contact national windscreens and everything to see if that can be fixed loads of people are asking about my insurance stupid me didn't add it on it was 16 quid and i just thought nah well hint to future self add on the windscreen repair because <laughs> it's uh, a little thing though and you, but there's loads of add-ons isn't there yeah. and you just look at them all and you're like no the only one i added on was to cover my um what do you call it no my claims. no claims i wanted to protect my no claims and i just thought that's all i need really yeah. but I, we, we were laughing the day just quickly me and sean were laughing around the shop the day because sean mentioned which i know some of you's mentioned at the time when we moved into the house as well about the fence that me and him put up in the garden <laughs> Uh, like when because we thought we were protecting the dogs from the bad bit of the garden <laughs> but it was so dramatic wasn't it know, <laughs> we paid so much for that fucking fence as well i know but i don't mean did you know what it wasn't it was before wood went yeah so did we get a quite cheap i generally think we sold it for nearly the same as what we paid for it oh did we uh, oh, that's but, not too bad then but like we should have kept a hold of it and sold it for more. We oh, should have, but we yeah. were so dramatic putting that up. We literally yeah. halved our garden. And we yeah, were... that was stupid. <laughs> and then when we eventually took it down, what, like a year later, we didn't even do anything. Did anything to the garden. <laughs> oh God, that is so funny. And anyway, you live and learn. But yeah, yeah, we're going to head home now. I just thought I'd update you that I did make it to the gym. I already feel much better about it. I didn't do the best session of my life, but I did do a few things and I just need to get there. That's all I need to do. Do you feel good or not? Because you I feel tired now. Like, oh God. He's <laughs> like, get me home. I've beat yeah. the gym. I just feel mad. <laughs> oh God, get the gym more than you might sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had a bad sleep last night though, didn't you? No. I've got leftover digestive in my mouth. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Joan has gone to pick up Ryan, Kirsten and Maya, who's our goddaughter. I'm really excited. Coming over at our house, um, which is nice for the football. They haven't been at ours, to be fair, in quite a while. We usually go to their house just because we drive, but they're coming to our house. That'll be nice. My dad's also coming over to watch the match as well. Um, but I'm really excited to see Maya. Like, honestly, I never thought I would be excited to see a baby. Like, if you've watched my channel over the years, I am the least maternal motherly person ever, but I've just got a little soft spot for Maya. I love that a bit. Um, and I do, like, look forward to seeing her and having a cuddle with her and seeing her little smile. And I'm like, you are just adorable. Anyway, so that's happening today. So that'll be nice just to have them over. As you can see, I've made the effort with the appearance. <laughs> um, I've made none, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we've just been tidy in the house this morning. My mum has took the dogs because she was going on an adventure today and with Maya coming, they've never really been around a small baby. So um, my mum, it worked out quite well that my mum took the dogs today. Also, another thing, my windscreen is fucked. Um, I can't drive the car. I <laughs> basically going to Halfheads was the wrong decision. It's cracked all the way up now. So I can't drive the car. I have to just leave it there and I'm waiting. And... I thought it wasn't on my insurance. I thought it was an add-on on my insurance that I didn't add on. Turns out, looked at my insurance yesterday and it is on. So good job I never paid outright because then I would have lost out. But yeah, so it is on my insurance. So I've contacted the company that my insurance use. It's just a big mess, but it is what it is. I'm going to get up to date with the weekly vlog edit. God, I've got the right hiccups just before they come. So we're going to the gym again. Sean convinced where to go on this fine Saturday. Yeah. So we're going for another session. To be honest, I'm quite looking forward to it. We, we had um, my dad and Sean's mate Ryan and Kirsten and Maya over at a day for the football. Like I said, it was kind of, we just had burgers and picky bits of food and that. And we won, so good atmosphere. By the way, guys, I've got me a line as in, so if I'm like lisping a bit, that's why. Did you notice? Did you actually? No. You did too? Wonderful. Anyway, I'm still on tray one because I haven't been as consistent with them as I need to be. So I'm um, needing to be consistent now. Um, but yeah, so we're heading to the gym again. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I've got my headphones tonight, which I'm excited about because I felt like yesterday, even though I did do a session in that, I needed my headphones to properly get into the mood. So I'm hoping it's going to be quite quiet. It's like bank holiday Saturday, but people go out on a Sunday through the day. So I don't know. I don't know. You think it'll be quite busy, don't you? Yeah, I think it will be. 
But then the match has been on, so... Yeah, people might be out no, because of that. Could have been out for that, eh? True. We'll see, but yeah, I'm excited. Got me headphones, just want to do a good little sesh. Are you alright? Your sausage. Okay, so we're back from the gym. I did an hour on the cross trainer. I love it. Like, honestly, the cross trainer is just my gym thing like i love it i've got a good playlist that i can just zoom it feels like i'm dancing anyway i did an hour on there and then five minutes on the treadmill and that was it had a shower there um i've got my hair a bit wet in the shower like but it's all right it's not hair wash day i've come in we haven't really had tea today because we had um obviously people over this afternoon we did burgers and stuff so i had that but i'm actually starving now after the gym so i've made myself this stick thing which i got from aldi it's like a Oh, was it from Aldi or Herons? I think I got it from Aldi. I've put it in the oven and it's just like a half cooked bread thing. And then I have a vegan pea and ham soup underneath. It's from the brand Suma and I got it from the alternative stores, vegan supermarket. They have an online site and there's an actual shop local to me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a read of my book. I'm currently on to my fourth book. This one's by Lucy Diamond and it says on a beautiful day. I've read the first chapter and I really like the way she writes. So I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this book. I still haven't found a book to replace the first book I read. Um, which, I can't, it was Sea Seashell Cottage. I can't remember the writer, Jessica Redbank. I feel like that was her. Um, the two books I've read after that just didn't do the same for us. Um, but I really do like the writing style of Lucy so far. So I feel like this is going to be a good book. It's quite a big one as well. Um, so it should keep us going for a while. I've got a microwave meal. It is pulled pork, rice sort of burrito bowl. I think we've about 400 cals in that. Good day, just using it up. Uh, it's kind of a date, the day or yesterday, so we'll use that up. I've got two of these bread sticks. Demi's got one, chucked it in the oven to warm it up. Then I've done like a little, I've done it before, but like a bit of oil, a bit of seasoning, and a bit of butter, a bit of seasoning, a bit of mayonnaise. Just say we'll take a dip it in. That's me tea. It's quite late though, it's half nine, ten o'clock, five or ten actually. <coughs> I'll be in the gym late, but get it done because we've had like burgers and that for our dinner. I'm still alright in that, but just makes you feel better. And then I'm at work tomorrow. And then you're sitting there, aren't you? You look so smart, Henry. How you doing? You look so smart. <laughs> School picture. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, mind. You look so smart. Look at your bum, are you? I'm not going to. Well, he's going to sit. <laughs> Looks so cute, doesn't he? <laughs> You're a cute boy. So he'll be wanting a bit of bread or something. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's just had enough. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I've just been reading a bit of crafting, mainly in my bullet journal. I've been going over my scrapbook because I'm waiting for my free prints, prints to come to finally get up to date with my travel scrapbook, which I'm really excited about. <sighs> that we died. So I came in the office to change the battery and I thought, oh great, I'm staying here. Um, I can't even remember what the last clip I was saying. I think I was just telling you I've been scrap, crap. oh, I've told you that. I've ordered, so basically I started a travel scrapbook when I got into scrapbooking. And obviously because I only started it last year, I had a backlog of places that I wanted to put in from, I haven't started from like all the places I travelled because I travelled when I was a kid, but I can't really remember that and I don't really have much photos obviously because I was a kid. So I've started it from when I feel like I started to actually have photos, which was kind of more or less when I met Sean 10 years ago. So I had quite a lot of places to fill in that scrapbook. It's my favourite scrapbook ever. I love it. Um, But I'm waiting for a free print order to come. And when that arrives, that'll get us up to date with my travel scrapbook, which means every single time I travel from there on out, once I've done all the pages, obviously, I'll then be up to date, which means I'm kind of doing my pages as I come back from each trip, which will be really nice because the ones I've done like last year, I get really excited to do it when I've just come back off the trip because it's like the excitement's still there and I feel like the pages look a lot better. Um, so yeah, that is happening. I'm just really excited for them prints to show. This week has been a really, really exciting week. My nana actually rang the cancer bell, the cancer bell, the bell on the cancer ward to signify the end of her treatment, which is so exciting for the family. Obviously, my nana's journey isn't completely over um, with cancer because my nana does have to have more scans and she is still kind of, well, she's not going to be having treatment. I do believe she needs to have more scans though, just to check that everything has gone smoothly. But the doctors so far from what they've seen and everything are really really happy 
with how everything's gone. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting for that to happen this week as well. And there's a little video that my mum took, so I'll insert this here for years to see. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And again. One more. <laughs> So that's really made us so grateful for this week. Obviously, we had a quite a bad start to the year finding out about my nana's cancer and, you know, the treatment that she was going to have to go through and to know we're here at the end of our treatment um, and everything seems to have gone really well is such a blessing. Like, I feel so, so lucky and I know all the family do as well. And it's still, my nana's still got a lot ahead of her. She's still on a journey, but I know she's going to get out of this and she's got so many people around her supporting her and I'm so proud of her. My nana has honestly like been a trooper through this full thing. Like I, I can't even imagine to go and through what she's been through and to say her every time I say her. She's so positive and happy still and I'm just so proud of my nana, so proud. Um, so yeah, this, this vlog is dedicated to my beautiful nana who I know will watch because she watches all my vlogs and I feel like she deserves the dedication in this vlog and can we all give her a round of applause what's that <laughs> duck's face can we all give my nana a round of applause well done nana I'm so proud of you I love you so much as you know I tell you this all the time but I feel like it'll just be a nice surprise for watching the vlog and um yeah but anyway, this is going to end another weekly vlog. I really hope you enjoyed spending another week with us. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support on my videos. It honestly means the absolute world. I have so many exciting things coming up this year that I can't wait to document and blog on my channel. Um, and I'm just so fortunate. I'm so fortunate to have such a loyal group of people that follow us, who watch every single week, who communicate with us, who interact. It just means the absolute world. And I go to bed at night so grateful I cannot believe this is my life. Like, I can't believe that, you know, 16-year-old me dream job is actually my job. It's been my job for five years. I've just, I'm feeling really, really grateful. I've got a lot of gratitude right now. And I would just like to thank you so much for clicking on another video. It truly means the world. And without further ado, I'll see you all very shortly for another one. Bye.